What is up everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft mod review. Today I'll be showing you the advanced chemistry mod is currently in version 1.2 and being developed by two people, Raza330 who is the co-founder and head coder and Clean Creeper who is the other co-founder and the head graphics designer. So basically what this mod does is adds a whole plethora of chemistry related items, basically atoms and things of that nature and then you can build, you know, fun stuff with those atoms and uh, you know, it is a very advanced and technical mod which is kind of why it's iffy in my book but i'll get onto that later so when you first start on the, off the mod you will find these ores so if you mine these ores and again they can only be mined okay half of it just to, oh wait no that's new minecraft system silly old me but um yes when you mine these ores and it can only be mined with a diamond pickaxe and up you do get the chemical basis and again you get that from the chemical basis ore, and you have a random chance of getting the chemical research um it's not, an, I don't know, it's like a dust, I, I, I don't know. But with these chemical bases, you can craft certain things that are the basics of this mod. With one, you craft an electron. With two, you craft a neutron. And with three, you craft, you guessed it, a proton. So that is wonderful, and as you can see, they are varying in size beautifully. So with these, you can craft different things, or you could create different atoms in the atomic creation table. And now with the assistance of NEI, you can see all the different atoms they have right here. And I am not going to get into the crafting of these as you can hit U, it doesn't do anything on NEI or anything like that. But with different orders and stuff like that, this is kind of where I get to a eh with this mod as it's really advanced. And it's very technical, it's the same as the real world crafting or, you know, I guess m molecular makeup. And uh, it, it gets really confusing almost. And we're playing Minecraft, so I don't know about that. But I will get on to the fun stuff of this mod. So we do have a few things here. You can craft with these atoms. Of, not all of those atoms that you can make are actually usable. But, um, you know, you can use some of the things. And one thing you can craft is a carbon plate. And with three carbon plates, you can craft a diamond. So, um, you know, it's kind of... I don't know if it's overpowered so much as... Uh, I, this obviously, this mod you cannot use in the early game as it does require a diamond pickaxe to actually mine the ore as, you know, the other pickaxes don't work. But, uh, you know, it is, I wouldn't say it's too overpowered as, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of, it's it's not anything like groundbreaking but another thing you can get is a bucket of nitrogen and what this does and I actually find this to be very cool is if you place it down as you know ni nitrogen does freeze things and it does great snow so I thought that was actually pretty awesome some really cool ideas right here another thing you can get a oxygen helmet and you probably guessed it what this does is allows you to you know it go in the water and you will not drown so I had this weird little water thing but uh, you, you will obviously have this forever you know, you will never drown or anything like that. What is that thing called? Um, if I okay, now that we have that solved, we are back and we can play with these wonderful balloons right now. So if we do place down a egg or a pig, we can put a balloon on him and watch him float away. You can put it on with nothing, but these balloons balloons are awesome. I actually, I don't know, I just find them so fun to play with. But uh, albeit, they do have some glitches and they act, when they get up there, they fly faster than you. So I don't know if that's technical as I feel like the higher they get, the faster they fly, but... I feel like when I, yeah, when I see them uh, get hit the height limit, I guess, they do pop and fall back down and animals do fall back down, but I see it get, like, glitchy where they hit, like that, like, what, what was that? I don't know, but it's kind of weird, and uh, I don't know, I just feel like it should be addressed whether it is a glitch or not, but, uh, you know, definitely a cool aspect right there. So there is one other item which we had to use the chemical research for, and that is the chemical research book, and uh, as you can see right here, it does have a few pages of these, you know, different elements i think that's what they're called i forget but uh yeah so it does have a few pages of these and i guess it d basically cr tells you how to craft them and stuff like that which is very useful i could see you know but at the same time none of these elements are actually used in any of the items except nitrogen i believe so you know what's the real purpose of that uh i don't know kind of iffy about that one but i guess it is really rather what floats your boat um, but yeah, so I will show you one last item and then I will give you my final thoughts on the mod. As you can see down here, it's just a red thing. This is actually a sign, a neon sign, and it does glow in the dark as I do set it to, let's set it to midnight with not enough items. And as you can see, it does glow around it all beautifully and wonderfully. But, uh, 
as I was actually trying to place this mod or the sign down, it did crash, and I did type text on it, and it was deleted. I came back, and the sign's still here, but obviously the text is gone. I typed "Hey," and uh, you know, so now no one will say "Hey" back to me because it's gone. And if I click it, well, not with that and stuff like that. So I'm kind of scared to break it because I don't want it to crash again. But basically, with this mod, I feel that it's too complicated. Um, that's one of my main gripes with it right now. I understand the mod makers wanting to keep it complicated, and by all means, if you want to lead your mod in that direction, they should and they can. I'm obviously not telling them how to make their mod, but I just feel some foresight I have is if they keep the mod as complicated as it is right now, it will never attract a large enough, like, player base. I really feel this mod has a lot of potential, and I see or I think I see really developed mod makers right here. I think they, uh, you know, the developers, I think they have, you know, they really have a passion for passion for chemistry, and, um, you know, I think they will really get into it. But I just feel right now, it's way too confusing. Like, you need something, even with this book, like, something to tell me how to make them. Right now, I have to go to an external website just to figure out how to craft these, unless I have the knowledge myself, which I do have basic knowledge of chemistry, but that really doesn't get me far with this mod. It's not like I could use any eye or any in-game item or thing to, you know, actually help me do that. And I really feel like that should be addressed, along with some of these other bugs. But again, those are simple things, simple fixes. I just feel one of the, you know, kind of game-breaking parts of this mod is it's just, it's really way too difficult. And uh, if you want to keep it that way, again, it's your mod. I just feel like it'll never get the attention it deserves if it, as long as it remains like that. Which, even if it's just a simple in-game thing, like the way um, this does it, if you hit, what is it, R on here. Oh, wait, I can't do it on that. I can't do it on that either. And then you hit the question mark. It will tell you when you open the crafting bench. Maybe if you do that in here and you could click it and it'll show you exactly where to put them. That would be a really nice feature and I feel like that would make things a, a lot simpler. Just so you know exactly what you need and I'll have like a little number let's say next to it. But yeah, so that's just my, you know, review of this mod. I do give it a 7 out of 10 Frosted Flakes as Frosted Flakes are the best cereal and we all know that. But again, I really think this mod has a lot of potential and I would really love to watch this as it grows over time. as just some of the ideas they put in already are a lot of fun and uh, you know just adding this to my minecraft world in general would be fun i feel like it's just a little too advanced for me right now to get into as i'm you know not a chemistry geek so i thank you all for watching i do hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you all next time